All right, all stations, this is WRCU 527, Darren in Tucson, beginning the National GMRS Net. This net meets every Sunday at 5 p.m. Arizona, 6 Mountain, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern. To participate in this net, you must have first checked in through one of the regional nets on the MyGMRS network or online at mygmrs.com slash net. Uh, there is no roll call or open check-in on this net with the exception of the Midwest group. I will check this group in. They didn't have the benefit of a regional net, um, but uh, there will not be any other open check-ins on this net. Please remember to let the repeater's carrier drop between transmissions due to the large number of repeaters tied in this evening. This net is a directed net, meaning all traffic should pass through net control. This is uh, WRCU 527, Darren in Tucson, and I'll be net control this evening. Uh, before we begin, is there any emergency or priority traffic? Please call now. All right, having heard nothing, if there is any emergency or priority traffic at any point, please feel free to uh, break in at any time. Before we begin, does anyone have any general announcements or messages for the National GMRS Net? Please give your call sign now. All right. Uh, topics of discussion. Tonight's topic is as follows. Stealth antennas. Are you cursed with an HOA or in a rental property and how are you sneaking by? I know I have an HOA and I've got some things I'm doing, but we'd love to hear what uh, what your ideas are and how we can uh, improve. So uh, um, keep that in mind when we get to when we get to the uh, roundtable discussion. But right now I'd like to start a uh, Midwest only roll call since they didn't get a chance. So uh, stand by for the roll call. All right. We'll now begin the roll call just for the Midwest group. When called, please identify and let us know if you're uh, in uh, with or without traffic for the national net. I'm going to try to move through this pretty quickly. And if you miss your turn, uh, we will uh, see if we can get you later on at the end of after the uh, topic of discussion. So uh, with that being said, we're going to start out, I believe, with Indiana. Uh, the first on the list is going to be uh, WQYZ296, Dave in Indiana. Oh, I jumped the gun there. Indiana, I want to move to Illinois first. WQUY536, Patrick? WQUY536, Patrick Woodstock, Illinois. No traffic for this evening. Thank you very much. Got you in there, Patrick. Thank you for sure. Um, let's go to uh, Eddie. WQZB946. All right, nothing heard there. WRAL939, uh, Vincent. WRAL939, Vincent from Old Forest, Illinois. Yes, please. Traffic, yes. All right, we got you in there, Vincent. WRAL 939. Uh, and then we got WRCM 330, Bob. How about WRCZ 886 Bill in Illinois? WRCZ 886, no traffic. All right, Bill, thanks a bunch. Uh, next is WRDK uh, 264, Joe. Let's move on to WRDL 342. 
uh, Mo in Illinois. How about WRDU 235, Rob in Illinois? Are you with us? WRDU 235, no traffic for tonight. Thank you for running the net. All right, got it in there. By the way, guys, I'm having trouble. I can't edit the spreadsheet. If there's anyone in the spreadsheet that can help me out with that, that'd be tremendous. Uh, I think we got Brent in there right now. Um, so let's move on to WRFL 449, Doug, Illinois. All right, nothing there from Doug. How about WRQ535? Ferdy, are you with us? RSQ535, Ferdy, Bolingbrook, Illinois. Yes, with traffic, please, sir. Back to that. All right, sounds good, Ferdy. Um, let's move on to WRFR502, Artie in Illinois. WRFR502 with traffic. All right, sounds good, guys. I appreciate it. Let's go to WRFR912, Justin in Illinois. WRFR912 here. Morris, Illinois. Thank you for running the net, Darren, and I'm um, checking in with traffic. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, if there's anyone that can uh, open up the editing of the spreadsheet, that would help out tremendously. <laughs> thanks, Brent, for trying. Uh, let's go to uh, WQIN442, Nick in Illinois. How about WREM 499, Allen? WREM 499, Allen in Bethlehem, Illinois. Sure, we'll check in with traffic. All right, we got you in there, Allen, uh, for sure. Let's go to uh, WQIR 599, Tom. How about uh, WRJB280, James? All right, finally here on our uh, Illinois check-in list, uh, WD, excuse me, WRDW795, Brent, I know you're there. All right, that concludes the Illinois stations. Uh, let's move on to uh, to Indiana again, where I started out. WQSK uh, nine two eight, Steve. Uh, WQVG six zero one, Mike in Indiana. WQVG 601, Mike, Indiana, with no traffic. Thank you. All right, sounds good there, Mike. Good to hear you in there, for sure. Uh, let's go on to uh, WQVY 669, Ryan.
All right, Wally, W-R-A-N, three, four, five. Are you with us, Wally? Yes, sir, W-R-A-N, three, four, five. I have no traffic. I just want to say thanks for holding that. Sounds good to hear you in there, Wally, that's for sure. Uh, sorry you guys didn't get your regular... Uh, uh, your regular weekly regional, but hey, we'll make up for it for sure, Wally. Uh, thanks, got you in and out. Let's go over to Buddy W R A X five four two. Are you with us, uh, Buddy? W R A X five four two. I'm here. You can put me down for no traffic. Uh, got a tower in my backyard. <laughs> thanks for holding that. Yeah, copy that, buddy. I wish I had a tower in the backyard. Actually, I have two towers in the backyard. They just don't belong to me. <laughs> they belong to somebody else. But, uh, yeah, sounds good. Let's uh, go over to uh, WRCW750. Uh, Thomas, are you with us? All right, no Thomas, WQYB296, uh, Dave in Indiana, are you with us? All right, let's continue down uh, Indiana. Thanks, uh, 960, for getting hooked up. Uh, WQYW692, Kevin, are you with us? W Q Y W six nine two. No traffic tonight. I don't have an HOA. Well, just rub it in then. <laughs> Some of us do, so I appreciate you uh, checking in. Uh W R F X four eight nine, Tom, uh in Indiana, are you with us? How about W R E Y four seven eight J B? W Q Z G uh nine eight five John in Indiana still. WRJA601, Michelle. And our final Indiana station here on the regular roll call is WRFY461, Robert. All right, nothing heard. Stand by, guys. I'm going to reset real quick, see if I can catch up with the other stations that I missed um, so you can talk amongst yourselves. Uh, WRC 527, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, let's move over to our uh, Minnesota station here. Uh, W R E N eight zero six. John, are you with us? W R E N eight zero six. John, thanks for running the net and uh, no traffic tonight. Thank you. Roger that. Great signal in there. Um, we've got a Missouri station here, Chris. W R D V eight four five. Are you with us? This is Chris, WRDV845, Missouri, no traffic. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, we got you in there for sure. Uh, stand by before I get on to Wisconsin. This is a big list.
All right, guys, gotten caught up here, so let's get the rest of the Wisconsin stations uh, rolling. Let's start with uh, WQJV506. Paul, are you with us, Paul? I hope so. WQJV506, good evening. Uh, checking in, no traffic tonight. Back to net control, WQJV506. Thank you. Sounds good, Paul. Always always great to hear you in there. Um, let's go to WQNM292. Scott? WQNM292. Thanks for doing this uh, unusual check-in uh, that's kind of unscheduled. So uh, thanks for doing that and stepping up and taking care of that. Uh, this evening I'll have no traffic. I don't have an HOA, so I have uh, no need to hide my antennas. But... Uh, I will be listening to hear what other people are doing to uh, maybe help some other people out in the future. So thanks for running the net, WQNM292. Yeah, you're welcome, Scott, and uh, I wish I didn't have one either, so <laughs> glad to hear you in there. Uh, Corey, WQVA593, what's going on? Uh, sounds like nothing. WQYE uh, 931 Tawan. WRAB 6672 Steve in Wisconsin. WRDW 443 Don. WRDW 443 Don, Northern Milwaukee. I have no HOA, so I have no sense to hide my antennas, and I have no traffic. Thank you for doing the net. Back to net control. Yeah, thanks, Don. Thanks for putting up with me. Uh, <laughs> let's go over to uh, WREN713, Rod in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. WREN713, Darren, thank you very much for holding the net tonight. You're doing a wonderful job. Uh, I uh, don't have an HOA, so I have no traffic. Thanks again. You got it, Rod. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, participating. Great to always hear you in there, uh, for sure. <laughs> WRF, let's move on to WRFK526, Rick in Wisconsin. How about WRFK885, George? How about WRFN745, that's Whiskey Romeo, Foxtrot, Mike, 745, Tom? WRFT779, Mike in Wisconsin, are you with us? How about WRFX851, Karen, are you with us tonight? Hey, thank you for doing the nap. I know if I took one bite of my dinner, I'd be up next. So I don't have an HOA, but I'm going to be listening, uh, WRFX851, and nice job on the net. Thank you so much, Karen. I know you run one yourself, so <laughs> I only do this once a week. You do it all the time. Uh, let's move on to Ben, WRFW994. Go ahead, sir. WRFW994, Ben. Uh, no traffic, just listening, and thanks for running everything. Yep, 
Yes, sir. And uh, we'll move on to the roundtable here shortly. I've got a couple more Wisconsin stations to call in. Uh, we'll go to the roundtable, and then I'll see if i got any late check-ins here for the Wisconsin group since uh, it's kind of unique. Um, but I appreciate it. WRHU609, Eric in Wisconsin. Go ahead, sir. WRHU609, I have no traffic this evening. Thank you for running the net, and back to you. All right, sounds good, Eric. I appreciate you uh, participating. We'll go to uh, WQQD868. Uh, it's going to be Rick. Are you there with us, Rick? All right, nothing heard there. So we'll uh, move right on to our... Uh, Normal national net. Uh, again, the topic of discussion tonight is stealth antennas. Are you cursed with an HOA or in a rental property? Or maybe you're squatting at someone's house. How are you sneaking by with antennas and all that stuff? So stand by as I reset, and uh, we'll move right on into the, uh, the topic of discussion in the roundtable. All right, we got a pretty good group here. Wow, a lot of people. Let's uh, start with uh, in Arizona. We got Arizona, Florida, a couple of Georgia stations, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Michigan, New Mexico. So let's go with uh, our Arizona station, WRCZ558. Aaron, um, what do you got for us? Well, he had indicated he might not be able to make it, so I guess he didn't make it. We've got a uh, Florida station here, WRHY868. Glenn, uh, tell us about your experience with stealth antennas. Okay, thank you. This is Glenn, WRHY868, Florida. Uh, let me just first say I'm 22 miles away from my repeater. Um, I do have an HOA. I'm in a townhouse and uh, my antenna is in my office. Uh, it works well, very well, I think. Um, and my antenna is a, a Midland MXTA25 uh, 3D gain stealth. Um, for a ground plane, I'm using a 15-inch pizza tin. And I have it right next to the window up on the second floor where my office is. Uh, this stealth antenna Nobody's familiar with it. I think a lot of people are. It's about three and a half inches tall and about one and a half inches in diameter. And just for the record, I'm using a uh, Midland MXT275 Micro Mobile 15 watt, uh, of course, with a power supply. And that's all about I can tell you. And hats off and salute to the United States of America as this is a national net. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, it's a great solution. Actually, it's kind of funny. I have that same little antenna, and uh, I put it on a pizza tin, too. So uh, great minds think alike, or at least uh, my mind thinks as great as your might, yours might. Uh, so, yeah, great uh, solution, especially from your office. That's awesome. Um, let's move on to uh, Brent, uh, WQTD542 in Georgia. Go ahead. So QTV 542, I actually did the same type idea, but I used the side of a computer, an older computer that had the longer side, and um, it's when I lived in an apartment, so that's how we were doing it with the tri-band antenna. So are you running in the same type of, uh, like, mag mount, or uh, tell me more? Yeah, it was a mag mount stuck on the side of a, basically you took the side off of a computer and used that plate um, kind of sitting up in the side uh, guest bedroom when we were living in an apartment. I'm at a house now, and um, I either use the RIP or I use uh, um, a handheld because I'm closer to the repeater now. Yeah, sounds good. Some of that uh, Aggie, Aggie engineering is... Uh 
it is showing up for sure. <laughs> I appreciate that, Brent. Let's go to uh, Eric, also in Georgia, WRFX952. All right, nothing heard there. Let's go to Vincent in Illinois at WRAL 939. Thanks for being patient. No problem, WRAL 939. Yeah, I've got an HOA. I've been here a while. Um, it's not a, the best situation, but um, uh, the only thing I've got going here is I've got the attic to deal with, I can deal with. Um, Five eighths wave on, on the uh, on the old uh, cookie sheet. Um, I don't have a patio. I don't have a railing, a hanging plant. I've had all kinds of suggestions. Uh, flagpole. Um, it just I, it just doesn't exist here, so it's rough. The only thing I got going for me is uh, we're on a second floor, so it doesn't get it gets pretty good coverage for for what it is, but. Uh, so I'm kind of listening if somebody's got uh, another idea, but it's it's not it's not ideal. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm surprised people aren't piling in right now to say your signal's full quieting. If that's what you're talking on, that's fantastic. Um, sounds really good. You know, hey, make make do with what you got. That's for sure. Uh, appreciate it, Vincent. Let's go over to uh, Bill. WRCZ in Illinois, uh, eight, eight, excuse me, WRCZ 886 in Illinois. All right, nothing heard there. Uh, let's go to uh, Rob, WRDU 235. It's your turn, sir. WRDU 235. Um, I posted no traffic, but uh, <laughs> I don't live in an HOA area at my house, so I will just listen in. Thank you for running the net. Yeah, no worries, Rob. I, uh, I wrote some names down here, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't edit the spreadsheet, so it was a little difficult. So I figured I'd call you guys instead of not calling you. So let's move on to Alan. Uh, w R E M four nine nine. Uh, it's your turn, sir. Yeah, I'm actually using a trim little, uh, like the old cell phone antennas from the '80s here, and fortunately, I am up on the third floor, so my antenna is facing the repeater. Uh, the Sherville repeater that I use most of the time is about 12 miles away from me. And uh, Vince's repeater over here is about a little less than a mile from me. Uh, so right now I'm actually using Vince's repeater, and hopefully I'm coming in all right. Yeah, I wouldn't call it full quieting, but, yeah, we're hearing it, man. Uh, you're doing well. Uh, it's always a compromise. You know, they say every antenna is a compromise antenna, so I compromise all the time. Uh, let's go over to uh, Ferdy, the RFQ535. It's your turn, sir. The RFQ535 here. Uh, yeah, we do have an HOA, but uh, for me, as a new ham, too, I have, a, I have a stealthy antenna here that's located by the tree. I put those, uh, um, I think those, these are fiberglass poles and just a tram 1480. You can't barely see it from the front of the house. From the back of the house, you can just see that white uh, uh, fiberglass antenna sticking out, out there. But otherwise, uh, I guess if I venture into HF and other stuff, that might multiply. But uh, around the subdivision, there, there are a couple of antennas that I've seen, like big and huge, and uh, no, looks like nobody's complaining. So maybe it's okay. I haven't dug into um, info of that type yet. Back to net control. Thank you for doing the net. Yeah, hey, Ferdy, I was just uh, 
I was just uh, giving some advice not long ago. Um, you know, put it up there and just uh, talk about it as a cell phone booster or, uh, <laughs> you know, a TV antenna. Most people don't know the difference. Sometimes hiding in plain sight is the best way to hide. So I hung something on the roof. So, yeah, 1480 in a tree. That's awesome. I uh, appreciate the comment. Let's go over to Artie, uh, the RFR 502 in Illinois. Go ahead, sir. RFR 502. I've got uh, my antennas up in the attic and one in the guest bedroom on a tripod. One in, in the uh, guest bedroom is a three element Yagi. Then I've got a, a five element Yagi that I built. And then uh, three omnidirectional uh, ground plane antennas, and then a four uh, four band antenna for HF, and that uh, is for 10 meters, 15, 20, and 40. Those are all in my attic, and I built all my antennas. Uh, that's pretty much it. I got to keep. Oh, Artie, go ahead, man. I don't know if you timed out or we lost you, but uh, last thing I heard, you got a four band antenna in the attic and you build all of them. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and continue, man. We lost you. I timed out. Yeah, there's five antennas in the attic, the three omnidirectional, a five-element Yagi, that's for the GMRS, and then a four-band, uh, it's a multiple-band uh, antenna for 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. And then in the guest bedroom, I've got a three-element Yagi. And I build all of them. Well, that's awesome. If you're ever in southern Arizona, I'll get all the solder in the uh, <laughs> copper you can stand. And uh, we'll put you up on a ladder and put you in my attic. So I appreciate it, Artie. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, let's go over to uh, Justin, WRFR912. I don't know how you're going to uh, upstand uh, Artie there. Yeah, thank you, Darren. I was just wondering how I could get myself uh, before Artie in the list for next time, because you're right, there's nothing I can say to top that. But, uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't have a whole lot to say, although I am living in an, uh, a rental situation where uh, I don't have the, the option to, uh, you know, to put up a tower or uh, even an antenna mast on my house on the roof or even secure to the house. So uh, I have come up with a little bit of a solution for now that's uh, working out for me where I've got a 20-foot uh, antenna mast that I made out of electrical conduit. Um, and I got a J-pole mounted to the top of it. It's only about 25 feet in the air. Um, but when it comes to mounting it to a structure, I actually built a, an A-frame uh, lemonade stand for the kids that's pretty stable on its own. It's about uh, seven feet tall or so. And I actually have the antenna mast mounted to that. Um, and then I got the uh, cable just run into the house for my base. So that's kind of my... Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to call it stealth necessarily, but it's my, uh, you know, uh, less than ideal situation that I come up with to get around uh, the fact that I can't just do whatever I want there. So anyway, it's working out for me so far, and uh, that's about all I can say. WRFR912, I'm glad to hear what everybody else has to say out there. Thank you for the opportunity, and thank you for running the net. I'll be standing by clear and back to my control.
Holy smokes, so I think you did uh, outdo Artie there <laughs> with the lemonade stand. That's, that's pretty incredible. Uh, you know, the <laughs> invention is the mother of necessity uh, for sure. So let's. Uh, that's a great, great comment. I like that. Let's go to WRHY204, George in Illinois. Uh, what do you have for us? All right, nothing heard. WRJB863, uh, Joe in Illinois. Uh, I thought I put down uh, no, but I uh, yes. Yeah, you may have, uh, but go ahead. Do you have any comments? All right, WRJC557, five, five, David. All right, our final station here for Illinois is going to be a WRJD357, Clem. Oh, got a mouthful of static there. We'll try one more time. WRJD357. Nope, not making it. We're going to have to move on. How about uh, Kevin in Indiana? WR, excuse me, WQYW692. Go ahead, Kevin. All right, we got a uh, Minnesota station here, another Kevin, WRJA737. Go ahead. All right, let's move to our uh, handful of New Mexico stations that want to weigh in. We'll go to uh, Mike, WRAN487. Mike in New Mexico, go ahead. It's your turn. Oh, thank you, Darren. Uh, actually, very quickly, it was really uh, me. I have a friend who's a uh, ham extra class, and he moved into an apartment and actually figured out a way to load up a rain gutter and work HF off of that. So I commend him for that. I never, I, I, I still don't understand how he did it. But, uh, yep, yeah, my friend Ed, Ed is the one that did that. So there you go. Yeah, that's awesome. I've heard those stories before, but I uh, never had a chance to try it. Um, I'm just excited to get a dipole up the back for uh, <laughs> the backyard for a 20 meter. So, yeah, thanks, Mike. I appreciate you sharing that. Uh, hopefully, somebody out there can uh, can replicate that. Uh, let's go to Brett Whiskey Romeo Echo Echo 380. Tell us what you got going on in New Mexico. Whiskey Romeo Echo Echo 380. Yeah, I'm. Uh... I'm crashing at the folks' house uh, for a little while while my divorce is going on, and so I'm running a handheld with a uh, with a three element uh, Yagi that I built out of steel with uh, that's a uh, you know works really good for me. It's on a uh, on a tripod uh, for a uh, for a uh, camcorder tripod. I just point it and aim it where I want it to go. It does the job for me. So for right now, this is my stealth antenna. Uh, it's working really good, and as long as I get out in the right place and everything, it's, it's, it's doing a good job for me. So I'm on a, on a handheld with a uh, with a Yagi uh, sitting in the backyard right now. Yeah, that's fantastic, uh, Brett. Matter of fact, I think you sent me a picture of that. I know what that looks like, and uh, 
Uh, sounds like you're getting in there and doing well. So uh, great to hear that for sure. Uh, let's go over to our next New Mexico station, Sam, WRFT463. Are you with us? We are MT463, roger that, sir. Uh, well, I don't live in an HOA, uh, so I have no comments, but join and listen to you guys. Here for you, RFT463 on the site. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Uh, I've got a couple more in New Mexico, actually, one more in New Mexico station. That's WR. HS a three nine six. Rick, are you with us? I am here and my uh GMRS antenna is just a little tram that's on a metal roof or you know, steel roof that seems to do pretty well. I hit a repeater a little over thirty miles away and uh I'm looking at building something for a HF system that doesn't go above twenty five feet tall and not more than Oh, 75 or 100 feet wide, then uh, it's been a challenge. Yeah, I get that, the uh, HF. <laughs> um, yeah, you need lots of room there. If you don't have it, well, just uh, put, put up what you can put up. If you can't, then you can't. Uh, but try it. Let's go to Santos, WRCK837. Uh, it's back to you, sir. All right, nothing heard. We're finally getting to the Oklahoma guys. Let's go to Bob, WQWZ310. Uh, Yeah, WQWZ310. Yeah, I've been listening to all these different uh, unique systems that everybody's using to get on the air. It's quite unbelievable that some of the combinations that you hear is uh, really intriguing. Uh, I myself, I am using a Comet CA-2X4 uh, mobile antenna, and I'm using a base ground kit, a uh, Tram 1465, to... Uh, put it together and it's sitting in the corner of my living room with uh, about uh, 12 feet of uh, RG8 cable running to the base, uh, mobile, uh, base mobile unit that I'm running off of a power supply. Wow, sounds like you got it figured out, that's for sure. Uh, you said you got a, a comment CA24, is that correct? That's a CA two X four S R N M O uh comet uh, mobile antenna two band tri band uh, dual band rather. And uh yeah I've got all that mounted on a uh uh camera tripod and uh, got the tip of the antenna right up against the roof of the against the ceiling so uh uh I got my maximum height out of it. But what's also unique is I can all pack that up and take it with me wherever I want to go. Yeah, it's the same one I've got in my car. I know that antenna. I know that antenna pretty well, so uh, that's great. You got it in your in your uh, uh, room there in your living room. That's awesome. Uh, great solution. Great antenna. I uh, appreciate that, Bob. Let's move over to WRCW eight seven zero Lee. WRCW870. Uh, well, I, I own my own home, and uh, we don't have any HOAs here in Weatherford, or at least lies in the part of town I live in. So I really don't have to get told what I can and can't do outside my house. Uh, I do have one suggestion, maybe for a regional net question or a national net question, is uh, mobile antennas. Uh, what's the best one you found, and how which ones have you tried? Uh, just an idea. Uh, back to you, net control. Yep, 
I've got that here. Uh, I don't think that one's been uh, discussed yet, but uh, we'll definitely put it on the list uh, for sure, Lee. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, we'll put it on the list for sure. Uh, let's go to – we've got three, four more stations here, and then we'll wrap this thing up. I've got uh, Mark, W-R-E-Z, 914 in uh, Texas. Go ahead, Mark. You uh, Tell us what your uh, what your suggestion is for I, – I know you don't have a, a stealth antenna, but give us a suggestion on what you would use. Yeah, thanks, Net Control. This is W-R-E-Z, 914 in Houston. Hey, uh, yeah, I don't have a stealth antenna. What I ended up doing a few years back, I had a CB radio, and it was about the same height of the antenna that I wanted to put up for GMRS. I just swapped them out. But my suggestion would be for anyone else out there is to uh, write the HOA board, the Architectural Control Committee, and submit a picture or plans of what you actually want to do. Uh, I went through my deed restrictions and found out that the antenna had to be, uh, could be no higher than five foot above the main peak of my roof. Uh, so I moved my antenna up to my uh, chimney, and I made it stick up five foot above the peak of the roof. So it's sitting at about 35 feet off the ground, two-story house here. And, uh, yeah, so they approved it because it matched uh, the requirements. And then I painted it gray to kind of blend in a little better with the gray skies we have down here in Houston. So that's my suggestion is uh, just talk with your HOA and your neighbors and see uh, what they can live with. Sounds good, Mark. Great suggestion. I uh, hope everybody wrote that down. I got that from uh, somebody else as well. So we got three more stations here, a uh, couple of uh, Wisconsin stations, three Wisconsin stations. Uh, so we'll get through that, and then we'll wrap it up here, guys. It's uh, 47 minutes after the hour. Um, let's go to Mike in Wisconsin, WRFT779. What do you got for us, Mike? Hey, Darren, WRFT779. Uh, thanks for running that. I do not have an HOA, so I don't have quite the issues all the time, but I do have lots of antennas, and I don't like to leave them up all the time. So I run the little portable units for the HF bands a lot of the time, you know, where I can just put on a ground stake in the ground and run a coax up to it, some radios off, use it. When I'm done, pack it back up, put it in its case, and it's done for until next time. Other than that, I just have a couple of J-poles mounted on the eave of the house, which I just leave up all the time. Unless you're looking for them, you don't even really notice them. With that, I'll pass it back to Net Control. Thanks for running the net. Yeah, sounds sounds good there, uh, Eric. Or excuse me, Mike. <laughs> I uh, I hear a little bit of uh, digital modes in the background there. That was kind of uh, transfixing me there. Uh, sound like some PSK or uh, some other digital mode, but yeah, that's what I do for HF when I hang a when I take a hang a wire up there. I just take it down when I'm done. But uh, seems like uh, for FM, it's better to keep something up that's uh, a little more uh, permanent. But you don't have to. So great suggestion. Let's go to Eric uh, WRHU six zero nine. Are you with us? WRQ609, no traffic. Uh, you called on me earlier, but still good. Uh, back to you, Net Control. Yeah, thanks for dealing with me. Uh, it's been a little bit of a <laughs> uh, different situation tonight, so I appreciate it. Uh, let's go to our final station here, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, WRJD219, Jeff, in Wisconsin. Oh, nothing heard there. So uh, let me uh, wrap this up, guys. I'll give you a final count, and we'll adjourn the uh, National GMRS Net. And uh, stand by for that. All right, this concludes the National GMRS Net. Thanks for all your participation. We had a preliminary number of 16 check-ins that commented, and all nets was 79. Uh, which is pretty good considering that we missed the uh, Midwest, and I appreciate you guys dealing with me uh, as I work for that, through that group. 
Uh, if you'd like to participate in this net in the future, please remember to check into a regional net first or check in online in advance uh, via the, the net's website at mygmrs.com slash net. Uh, this net utilizes link repeaters throughout the United States that are part of the MyGMRS network. Please visit mygmrs.com for uh, more information on this, net, this network, uh, its link repeaters, and the GMRS service in general. The National GMRS Net meets every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 Mountain, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern. Thanks to everybody who checked in tonight and the many repeater owners that helped make this uh, net a reality. Um, you know, look at those guys. Uh, if you can participate and uh, chip in and make a contribution, uh, there's a big cost that's involved in uh, running this stuff, and uh, I'm starting to realize that now. So if you can uh, help them out, please do. Please contribute so that we can continue to use this service. We'll see you next time. Uh, for sure, this is WRC 527. Uh, Darren in Tucson returning the repeater system to its regular operation and wishing everybody a great evening. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great night.